Hey guys, welcome back, Ark episode 3. And as you can see, I just logged in and we've been base raided. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Everything's taken, everything's destroyed, but my body was still there, so all my stuff was on me, and same as Harley, so I don't know if they saw our bodies or. I don't know what happens. It looks like some grenade explosions, maybe, or. Because you, you can make grenades pretty early on. And from what I can gather, there was only one other big base on here. This island's basically for a new spawn, so. It doesn't look like it was like a total destructive. It was just like a one focused, as you can see where Harley is at the moment. It was just focused on that corner. So I looked at the tribe blog, and it, all it said was Joey, the, and the clan was called Tribe of Joey, which really doesn't help because the Joey is the default spawn name. Um, the only reason I knew who it was was because he killed our raptor. So our raptor was unaggressive and it killed it, so it didn't uh, go that well. So, but it happens, uh, you're going to get raided on Ark, and there's not much more you can do, get, do about it. So we're like, you know what, fuck it. We're going to build a raft, a portable raft, where we're going to have all we need on the raft. A nice little portable base with everything we need. For us just to venture out, grind, get a bit more powerful, get some resources, and then decide eventually where are we gonna settle? So in the meantime, we're just exploring the map. We're taming some dinosaurs as we go, get some resources, make the base a bit more protective, and just grind to become even more powerful until we eventually decide to pick a spot where we can build our base. When I released this video, this space raid happened 10 days ago, and yeah, I'm a little bit ahead. Uh, I've got a few episodes in my belt ready I'm starting to make, so I've got a lot of ventures. So where, when you watch my footage, I'm like almost two weeks ahead of you guys, if you get me. So yeah, uh, been enjoying it, been playing on it a lot. Me and Harley been up to no good and just got some good footage to show you guys. So I hope you enjoy the series. So I happen to came across a cave. Uh, in the west part of the map, uh, southwest, one of the ice caves, and I wanted to test if I could fly in it, and I did. As you can see, I'm flying around. Lot a lot of dinosaurs around, so this is why I decided to fly in instead of going on ground, because it would have took me. I don't think I would have made it, so. Managed to get the artifact, uh, the tundra artifact, uh, to use maybe for the, some of the bosses. Maybe my fancy game for the tech. Gear at some point, so I'm just collecting the artifacts as I'm flying around discovering the map. So now that's said and done, uh, the base has changed, the portable base. You saw it made out of stone, it's a lot more bigger, but we're at Lava Island now and we've decided we are going to tame a T-Rex. Once you t tame a T-Rex, everything becomes a hell of a lot easier. And it's finally down, as you can tell. There's no way you can knock out a T-Rex with two hits. I've been tranking it for a while and obviously finally got enough torpor for it to fall unconscious. Sorry about the on live, on live, um, the live commentary guys. It's my audio didn't work, my microphone audio didn't work when I was recording. So for this episode, it's just me talking, narr narrating what's going on. So the quickest way to tame a T-Rex is, other than kibble, is prime meat and then cooked prime meat. And Harley on a terror, she's been killing Carnos and any other creatures on the Lava Island to get some prime meat for me. So we can tame this T-Rex efficiently and once it's tamed it will get a huge amount of level boosts. So I think I tamed about, I don't know, it's about 150. And it went up to almost 200, so it was definitely a good investment. And yes, I'm not very good with names. I I suck with names, so I tend to name the dinosaur on short of what the actual name is. So, but we got T-Rex. That, that's a good start. 